Hello everyone. Welcome back to more Let's Play Lorelei. Starting off on chapter two, the new girl. Yeah, last episode was kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. In every sensible sense, but then again, it's the uh, if you've seen the cat lady, you, you should know what to expect at this point, really. My first job. I can do this. But I better hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. Alright, so chapter two is pretty much about uh, Lorelai's day on her first job, which is what we were coming home to in the first chapter. Uh, if, you, if you remember, she said a lot of weird shit happened when she was working, so let's, uh, let's explore that a little bit. Let's see what's going on with that. Ah, uh, the bus! Boss, I'm here! I'm here! You can see me! Clearly! Wait. Come on! Hey! I'm not gonna lie, my train stations Stupid actually do this. Boss. But maybe I can still get there on time if I walk fast enough. There's actually a specific green uh, line in our train district that specifically does this all the time to people. I shit you not. It's. At first, I kind of found it funny, but then I, the more I watched it happening, the more sad, the more sad it became. Just because our, con it just showed our conductors were kind of assholes. So, a little fun fact about um, uh, me and my daily life. But anyway, look at the background here. This is one of the nice few backgrounds I actually really like in the game. And in chapter two, you're gonna see really nice ones, and then you're gonna see really shitty uh, backgrounds. We'll talk more about it later. For now, I'm gonna enjoy the view. Like, look at this. There's a pretty woman on this wall. Can you admire this for a second? A beautiful lady. Should be YouTube safe, I think, because she, she's not showing anything. Yeah, she's braless, but she's she's not showing those uh, nipples or anything, so she she's good. I can save some time if I cut through this alleyway. All right, cool. Let's go through the alleyway then. Sounds perfect. Nothing bad could happen in any shape, way, or form. Just keep on marching. Just keep on marching. Just keep on. <laughs> That's an ugly ass motherfucking dog. <laughs> no, we cannot pass because he is right there being an asshole. Asshole. Oh. No, 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 no! Dude! You can't just park here! Oh, wow. So we're blocked in! Good job, asshole! For Bob, a man with a van. He transports moving something. I can't read that. Yellow light, calm the fuck down. Moving house? Okay, there we go. Can I kick? Can I do something with hey. this? Hey! Move your car, mate! Please. Twat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hoe. Fucking hoe. Move your goddamn car. Alright, so we're blocked in. We're in a tight space here. But don't worry. There's a fish! The fish will save everything! It's a fish. And it stinks. Ugh. I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. Fuck that shit, man. Let's see. I can smell it from here. <laughs> Hey there, kitty cat. What were you doing in that stinking old bin? Somehow I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. Shoo! Shooing has no effect. <laughs> Good job. Well, anyway, uh, let's examine this rubbish, because now we can. Looks like someone's thrown away some perfectly good veggies. Ugh, what a waste. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with them, assholes? Got some cucumber, but before we do anything, that's us. Nope. Ugh. I'm not 
picking it up with my bare hands. All right, I need to do something. What was it? There's nothing in them. Nothing in them? Oh, there's something. Come on. There you go. Plastic bag. The way I feel right now, I could probably strangle that stupid dog with it. Hey, now, the dog's just trying to live, doing its own thing, okay? See, he's very hungry. I mean, he's not attacking us. That's all that really matters. Alright, so now that we have a plastic bag, on the fish! So long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it has come to this. Hmm. The cat ate his fish, but I achieved absolutely nothing. Or... Did I? Karma! Plus one! So one, there's an achievement, like the nothing achievement, and you can get that by literally doing, <laughs> feeding the cat and it does nothing for you. But there's also this mechanic called karma points. What the fuck do they do? I have no goddamn earthly idea what they do. I have played this game and as far as I could tell, they really didn't do anything or affect the story. So your guess is as good as mine. I don't know if the developer had an idea for them originally, but then scrapped it and then accidentally left it in. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, you don't, as far as I can tell, you don't get affected really by not doing any of the karma points. So whatever. So now these boxes. Here's what you're actually supposed to do. Take the cucumber, put them in the box. It's common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers, right? I'll just put it here, right behind him. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Oh, what's this behind you, mate? No, oh, shit, cucumbers! <laughs> oh. Ha, huh. um, hmm. Uh, we might have done more than we were supposed to, but, you know what, whatever. Gets the job done. What are you looking at, poor light? Demon baby again teleporting all over the place? God damn it, Bethany. Seriously, what is your problem? Are you the Antichrist? Is that what it is? You're the Antichrist? Christ and we're all gonna die? That's, that's gotta be it, right? Aw, uh, see? Bethany took us to this weird-ass place. What are we supposed to do now? Oh. Creepy-ass place. Me don't likey. Me don't likey. But it's actually very fitting of this game, honestly. Hair dryer. It's my hair dryer. Take it. Yeah, we took it, baby. All right, so we have a closed off door. There's a peephole. Chains. But why? Eh, yeah, let's find out. Don't know what that was, but sounds like there's a party going on in there, and I'm not invited. How rude. Well, there's something to go that way for. There's a socket. You can examine I can it. Plug something in here. Well, then use the hair dryer. My hair doesn't need drying. Oh, fine. Fuck you, Lorelai. Fuck you, ha your hair too. I could never take a bath in it again. Not after seeing Mum hanging on it. That's actually fair. It's completely fair. I, I probably wouldn't use a bath ever again either if I were you. Pull the bath plug! Alright, so that's there for now, but we'll leave it alone for the time being. For now, let us explore this huge, wondrous world of trees and fog. 
And probably one of the worst Unity sets assets I've ever seen in a fucking game. Okay, maybe not the worst, but... For me, it breaks the immersion a little bit. So remember when I said in this chapter you see a lot of good things that um, the developer used Unity for? You see a couple of those here and there. And then you see this shit. Like, really? What the fuck? You can clearly tell... CGI, so to speak. It's not really CGI, but it makes me think of that movie term. It's like, wow, the CGI done in this movie is good, but you can obviously tell it's CGI. You know, that type of mentality? That's literally what I, th what I think of when I go through this area. It, to me, it just ruins the immersion a little bit, which is really unfortunate. Ah, enough of my complaints, but whatever. Yep, even this has been affected, unfortunately. But behold, a gate! We have seen this gate before! Not in this game, but another game. Let us examine it, though, because Lorelai has not seen this gate before. I can't explain why, but I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. Alright, well, let's open it up. It's bloody locked. Of course it is. Oh. It almost fell down. Ooh, yeah! Kick us some more! Fuck it! Funk. Alright, uh, pig's head. It's actually a... mask? A mask, huh? Let's put that shit on for a second. Ta-da! Pig head! Pig head! Oh, it's only temporary? Alright, fine. I didn't want to wear that often anyway, jeez. I mean, I wanted to hide my shame- my face of shame in this area, because of all the CGI and didn't even see this shit. Whoa! Still not scary, game. Really ain't. The immersion is broken for me. You cannot undo the immersion breaking. Hope you're proud of yourself, game. Hope you're proud of yourself. As I walk away. Interesting enough, this area is actually heavily colored. Surprisingly enough. Now, let's use the pig head. Let's be invited to this party, once and for all. Sweet! I'm invited to this awesome pig party! Awesome. I'm happy. This pleases me. I take it back. This doesn't please me at all. I want to leave. Alright, fine. Alright, there's my bedroom, but let's skip over that for a second, because there's blood splattered all over there, and I, I don't want to deal with it. Mother's bedroom! Let us use this. See, there's a little less blood in here, you know? Haha. <laughs> a little less. It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. I, I don't know. Bethany seems like a demonic baby to me, so I don't think it's worth it. Um, unless she's right there. Mom? Mom? Why are you saying mom? That tiny thing is mom? How? Oh, that is how. Um, this is not real. Not if it be. Uh, hopefully it's not real, but uh, for the time being, let's use it. Jesus, we have our mother's head. How fucked up is this shit? Jesus. Alright, um, let's go through door number two? Jesus Christ, Mom, why? God. In my thoughts exactly, Lorelai. Also, interesting enough, look at all the beer cans everywhere. Like, that's, a, that's so impressive. Foreshadowing, but then again, not really foreshadowing. We kind of knew what was going on, but whatever. Just interesting. 
But damn, Mom, damn! Fridge? Fridge. It's our old fridge. That's me! It's my head! Except, but my head is on my head. I think. Is it? Or are we just believing what we think we believe? It's me. But I'm still here. Are we? I don't know. This is kind of confusing me at this point. Alright, we, we have our head. Ugh. I thought mom's head was bad, but having your own head in your hands? Jesus. One thing I'll miss from my old life is my bedroom. Uh, this doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Not even remotely. Hey, there's a phantom opera in the corner right there. Awesome. It looks like me. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? Um, hopefully. Um, put our head on that body. How do we know that's us, by the way? I mean, it could have been anybody's body. I mean, come on. Who put us in that dress? That's disgusting. I'm barely legal, fuckers. Well, this is interesting. Is this... John? Maybe this key would open the gate in the field. Too bad it's firmly stuck in his hand. Family. Family. We do not have this anymore. So with that, that's kind of your hint to a puzzle. And if you notice that we put the heads on the correct bodies, except for this one. We don't have John's head, but we do have a pig head. So, might as well use it. We have John's head. But we have a bunch of other heads growing out of him. And I want to run away as fast as possible because he will chase you and he will murder you. Alright, hair dryer. Please, for the love of God, put it in the socket. games having a chase scene of any caliber, but he will murder you if you allow him. So, uh, best to, uh, just pick up the key and run the fuck away as fast as possible! Get the fuck out of here, Lorelai. We never want to deal with that shit ever again. Because we just barely made it through. We're fine. We're okay. Everything's good and dandy. But still, it's best not to... Uh, dwindle, dawdle, to linger in an area where the guy just died. Best not to do that. Try to sound fancy, but it didn't turn out too well. <coughs> Ta-da! We made it! Ah, nice little cabin. Could this be my shelter in this strange world? Probably, after everything has been so fucked up around here. Didn't mean to move, sorry. Oh, what's this? 
Dear Lorelei, sadly I couldn't be here tonight to welcome you. But please make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Wow, uh, our host sounds courteous. Of course, I, I won't take up a, take a pass on that alpha. I mean, this whole area is kind of fucking creepy. What a lonely seashore. That's odd. It feels wet. Huh. Interesting. Candles! I remember candles. What the hell's going on? Oh shit, did I just break the game? Okay, uh, that was weird. Don't know what happened right there, but okay. These flames seem so fragile. Really, Lorelei? Flames seem so fragile. <laughs> they're fucking candles, okay? You just give them a poof and they fucking die. Of course they're fucking fragile, you idiot. <sighs> Woman, sometimes. Sometimes. It almost makes this place look like home. It's burning nicely. Wait, what the hell's on this? It's burning nicely. It's like a dude chilling on the above the fireplace, just like, hey, has it hanging? See, look at him, look at him. Weird. Maybe this place is not so nice after all. Our, our host seems a little weird. I don't- I'm not in the mood to get murdered again. Squeaky old stairs. Well, let's use them. Squeaking around. Squeak, 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 squeak. Last room upstairs. Here are some nice little paintings for us to view and enjoy. Unfortunately, we cannot interact with them. Oh well. But I do like them, personally. Just a lot of weird shit going on, and it's kind of cool. There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. Locked. Alright, fine. I guess this is where I'm supposed to be staying. Alright, sounds good. Let's take some rest in this fucking mechanic- What the fuck hell? Oh my god! I can't even speak English! How the fuck am I supposed to sleep with all these mannequins moving their heads around? Like seriously, what is this shit? Oh man. Hope you guys don't mind getting stared at all night. Looks comfy enough. But it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. Lorelai, you have no idea. But... We're tired. We didn't get to eat. We just got murdered. Let's lay down and get some rest. It's over. My whole life. All my hopes and dreams. Dead. I still remember how alive I felt this morning when I stood in front of that house. So out of breath from trying to get there on time. I was that new girl. Starting a new life. Pinecroft, residential nursing care for the elderly. Hmm. You must be the new girl. You're late. I'm sorry. The bus didn't stop. And then there was this horrible dog and- Excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of staff when you haven't had your training yet. I'm a fast learner. Well, we'll see if that's true. Hmm. You need a uniform. 
You can't walk around here dressed like this. Okay. Go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. All right, here we are at our new job. It's for staff and visitors, I think. I don't need anything from there. All right, I won't bother with that then. Also, this place is kind of organized a little weird, so apologize if I get lost or go around, go through a different, completely longer way around this whole place. I I still get confused, even when I was test driving this um uh the previous video for a test drive um. Uh, I still ended up getting lost so badly. So apologies for that. I can see a laundry room door at the end of it. Alright, so let's start the day. Hello. <gasps> oh, bloody hell. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh, silly me. Sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Have you been working here long, Maria? Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? Well, even if you think it's a crap hole, uh, we do appreciate you helping out, as most people do can't afford to take care of their el elderly family folk, so, you know, these homes do help with that, and we do appreciate it. And to everyone else who works in these homes, we also appreciate you. appreciate your work. Let's see. Let's keep having a nice conversation with her. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before. But I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. Ta-da! Blue one. Yep, same as mine. You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Right. Let's get changed then. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, one more thing, Lorelei. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and like really bad manners. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling, and she'll be alright eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai! Big bum, huh? Well, that's another term, uh, you know what, whatever. <laughs> Big bum. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so humorous, but I do. I do very much. It's not so bad, is it? Eh, I guess it depends from person to person. But, uh, let's go ahead and get changed. 